Hello! If you saw my latest community post, I put up a thing saying that Melbourne's been in lockdown off and on for 200 days, and I am actually filming this on the 200th day of lockdown. Ah, I'm exhausted, man. It has been a roller coaster ride of rolling lockdowns. It's our sixth one in total, and we'll come out of it, and then there's more cases, and then we go back into it, and it just keeps going on. And I am very tired of it. <laughs> in between lockdowns and buying things online, I've ended up with a whole bag full of art supplies, so I figured I may as well pull everything out today and we can see what's in this exciting brown paper mystery bag. So let's get into it. So these are items I've been accumulating for the last few months. A few things I specifically went to buy and other things are just stuff that I happened to see when we were walking around the shops when the shops were open because right now they're not. Here's my first item. This I got in a charity shop and it is a toast shaped plate but I thought this would be an excellent palette for paints either for watercolors or even maybe for oil paints or something like that. It's quite large and it's really heavy. It was two dollars so that was definitely something that had to come home with me. Why spend money on expensive palettes that are designed specifically for watercolors when you can just buy op shop stuff? <laughs> so that's my first item. Up next is this small Windsor and Newton visual diary and it's watercolour paper with 200 GSM. So it is 100% cotton, there's 20 sheets and it's A5 size. I've used the Windsor and Newton cotton paper before and it's actually really nice. This is also perforated which is great so you can pull the pages out. And it was on sale so I just picked it up because I can always find uses for these. I quite like having a ring bound book sometimes so that you can just do that with it rather than it being open like that so yeah just a little cheapie that I found. Normally these are quite expensive so when I see them on sale I do tend to pick them up. Next, oh it's, it's a lucky dip in here. Oh yeah we went to Daiso again and I found more things in there. This is supposed to be a do-it-yourself bird cage or something I don't even know what this is but it just looked really fun and so I picked it up and it's got little paper birds they're so cute so I think it's like an aviary and then you stick birds in although I'm not too sure if it comes with all of these or if there's like a collection of them because it does say collection up here I know. <laughs> but it looked kind of fun so I picked that up there's some more Daiso items in here a kitty cat plate I mean how could I resist that so cute I have been looking to get some washi tape that's the really thin stuff so they had a packet of these and I thought these were quite pretty colours so they're calling it masking tape but it's pretty much washi tape. I forgot to put some things in the bag I just realised. A while ago the shop Kiki K which does all sorts of boutique stationery were having quite a big sale and I got myself this really cute planner. I just really like this design and I'll show you a little bit. I'm not going to show you all the stuff that's in there, but it comes with different dividers and it's also got a little pad of paper in there. I think you can buy refills and things for it. And I have just been doing this for my YouTube planning and all of that stuff. I also found this little thing in Dimmix, I think it was, which is a bookshop. It's one of those little organizer things that you can put your pens in and all sorts of other stuff. I think you're supposed to put a phone in it, but I found this on sale because it was missing all of its tags. And so this fits nicely. And then I can just keep my pens and things in there. I also found this little matching pencil case, which is super cute. I did have my pens in here, but now they are in this little organizer here. So not too sure what I'm going to do with this, but I will find a use for it at some point. And I think I got this at the same time. It's just a really pretty rose gold clip and sometimes I have it attached on here. And I've also been finding this really useful in my filming section when I want to hang up a piece of paper as a reference photo on something. So it's been actually a very useful clip. It's quite strong and it can hold quite a lot. So I just sort of had this with my planner. So of course I had all these ideas that I was going to fill my planner every single day. But we've been in lockdown for so long. It's just... It's not really something I've been using so I'm afraid my monthly and weekly planners have gone out the window but the great thing about it is 
if I just open to a blank page, is that it's not actually dated. So you can use these any month and any day of the year, which I think is really fantastic and is far more useful for someone like me who doesn't use a planner really every day or indeed every month at the rate we're going. I also got on impulse this little water jug, but it comes with a glass and you can see I've been drinking out of it. It needs to be washed, but that sits over the top. And how cute is that? And it's kind of in a matching design to the planner. So I had to pick that up and I do use this quite a lot when I'm sitting at my table and I get really thirsty. Sometimes I forget to drink water. And so if I have this near me, then I actually do drink water while I'm working at my desk. So yes, <laughs> that was just something for the studio. Okay, back to mystery bag. I've got two things here. This is a double-sided ink stone that I got from Daiso as well. And somewhere in that bag, I've also got another piece that goes with this. I do also have the liquid ink that they sell in Daiso. Look, here's one. So I figured I can use this container to pour this ink in. The other thing I pulled out at the same time are these watercolor blending pens, which are basically water brush pens from Typo. I'm hoping these are better than those pastel paints that I got from them. But I got these because they have different size brushes on them, so I'll just pull them out. And there's another one in here. <laughs> Look how wide that one is. So I'm really curious to try these out and see if they're any good. The only thing is that they are incredibly long. I'll find one of my other water brushes so we can compare the length difference. Okay, here's a, a Pentel Aquash brush and <laughs> look at that. That's considerably taller so I'm not too sure how well these would work in a travel set because they are just very long but I think this one cost as much as all of these so there you go it was just something i saw as we were walking past typo they had a display of them and i thought oh i'll get some of those oh yes these are also from daiso they are printable stamp style washi tapes and i thought this could be fun to color in so i might end up doing a video on these at some stage Oh, this was also in typo. It's an Aussie slang colouring book and some of the things in here. I got it really forget on the beers because if you're in Melbourne, you'll know exactly what that means when it comes to the lockdown. It's got quite nice designs and they are postcards, so they're really thick. Probably 270 GSM, maybe? Something like that, but it's a nice smooth paper. This is my favourite one, I think. It's sweeping season and it's a magpie and the get on the beers. So these are some ones I might have to do at some point. But I just really like the designs. They had other books, but they weren't really speaking to me the same that this one does. The kookaburra on the marmite. And I just realised I've broken a nail. <laughs> Look at it. Oh, what a mess. Yes, personal grooming's gone out the window a bit, I have to admit. My hair and nails are not looking super awesome. And the rest of my nails are not too bad, but that thumbnail needs to be filed. Oops. Oh, well, I'm just going to keep going. And here's the last thing from Daiso and the thing that goes with that ink stone. That is one of those ink sticks. So... I might try and do a video on this. I've never really actually used one of these, so I don't really know what I'm doing. But you're supposed to rub the stick onto the stone with water and make liquid ink somehow. <laughs> so I don't know. I just got them because they were side by side and I figured they could be fun to experiment with. Okay, these next things I bought from the art shop. I'd been eyeing them up for a while and there were two of them that I'd seen and then they came out with another two so I ended up buying all four because I could not decide between them. Oh my gosh, they're heavy. I might move the bag out of the way just for the moment. There we go. These are Fabriano toned papers and I've been so curious about these for quite a while ever since they released them here and I can't remember when that is exactly but they come in the colours clay and that's the colour of the paper so it's kind of a grey but more more of a brownie grey not 100% grey like a lot of other toned papers are and I think that's a really pretty colour. They are 15% cotton and they come in 50 sheets. It's 120 GSM, so it's not super thick paper, but that's usually toned paper. It's more for drawing rather than for putting wet media on. But I got it in clay. I got the sand one, which looks quite a lot like craft paper. And then I got this new one that I'd seen, which is moss, and it's a green color. I think this one's so pretty. And then they also had a sea in this lovely grey blue colour and I just thought that it would be so nice to get all of them. I was originally only going to get these two but 
these ones were looking at me as well and I just thought they looked really pretty together so I went and got them all. I'm going to do a separate video on these and I will test out all of these papers and compare them to see what they look like together. And last but not least in this bag is something that I have been saying for a very long time that I was not going to get. It ended up being on sale. I think it was on Amazon. Let's take a look at the one item I said I was never going to get. And it is the 48 box of Kurataki Gansai Tambi watercolour paints. Or shall I say Japanese watercolours because they're not the same as Western watercolours. Ugh, I keep hearing that. But I already have the 36 set. And I also have the extra 12 colours that they released. But it was kind of bugging me that they're in two boxes. And it's such a first world problem, it's ridiculous. They're all together in the one box. It's all the same colours that I already have. But... I just really like them in this box and I've got a couple of swatch sheets here which I need to fill out. So Nick actually ended up getting this for me for our anniversary because we were going well what are we going to get each other and we couldn't go out to buy anything and so I said can you get this for me for our anniversary and he went oh go on then and so he bought it for me yay. <laughs> Thank you Nick. <laughs> so now I am the proud owner of the full 48 set of Kurotake Gansai Tambi watercolour paints. Sorry. Japanese watercolour paints and I will do a separate video coming up really soon using these paints. I'll swatch them all and do a painting and all of that fun stuff. I also somehow managed to smudge the box. Brilliant Becky! And because I listen to a lot of music when I am doing my art, I upgraded my music system to this little mini hi-fi stereo. It just plays one CD at a time, but it has a remote control so I can switch it off when I'm at my desk because quite often I'll get a phone call in the middle of doing something and I'm frantically running over here to pause the music but now I can just sit there and pause it from my desk and it's the ultimate in laziness but it has been really excellent and these speakers are really good so I'm enjoying this very much. Here we go a bit of a pan of all the things that were in the bag plus a few extras like the drinking glass and carafe and also my planner and pencil case. I hope you liked this one seeing some of the new things that I've bought. There are always other things that I have on my wish list and there might be a few more things coming up probably later in the year though. I do tend to try and budget so that I'm only buying things in sort of groups rather than all of the time. So thank you very much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed seeing what was in my paper bag of mystery and I really appreciate all of your comments and your likes. Don't forget to give it a thumbs up, speaking of likes. And also if you haven't subscribed, don't forget to click that subscribe subscribe button so you can see more videos because I have plenty more planned. This is my life doing videos twice a week. This keeps me sane and also happy so I will continue as long as I can. I hope you're all staying safe and well out there and if you get the chance to go somewhere please do so and enjoy it for me and I will see you all again in my next video. Swatch you later. Bye!